what's up guys we're here welcome back to the channel so there we're in the world of news for diablo 4 and there's been a big huge developer update so we're kind of kind of go over everything uh that they've announced for it and just kind of give you my thoughts and feedback if you guys have seen my recent videos um uh, at least pertaining to diablo because we've been playing a lot of path of exile there is uh i don't really have a whole lot of hope for diablo but i hope reading through this and kind of just talking about it will help um you know kind of revigorate uh, my spirit for Diablo 4. So let's uh, let's go ahead and check out what they did here. Um, I logged into Diablo 4 and it's been really, really fun. So just a quick black backstory. We have been playing since everything that has come out. We have, what, six, five, 100s, 60, 78, and then a hardcore. I mean, we have just been grinding this game nonstop. And this is after I've deleted about three or four fifties um, and sixties just to kind of free up more seasonal slots for all the new content. So um, as you can, you guys can imagine if you've been a part of the live streams or just been following the channel um, in all of our videos, it's been really, really fun, but the fall off is there. So let's go, um, let's go check out everything that they kind of been updating and what is coming to the game. Uh, there was the recent tweet about how there's going to have two, live developer upstreams or live streams the first one is going to be october 4th um it's going to be at 11 p.m or 11 a.m pdt which is about one two o'clock p uh est my time and it's the looming season of the blood many details for that and then the quality of life updates first okay so we're going to join the development team now there's a difference between the development team and just campfire streams development team is like development team streams where they are answering kind of everything that's been going on um with diablo and just kind of the feedback that we the gamers and the community have been asking and pleading for um so we'll get the director of community um relations which is adam and then they're going to unveil the vampiric scourge um that is descended onto sanctuary and talk about the sinister powers they possess so this is a lot of just you know lore stuff which is really cool I think that's great. I hope this is just a very short segment. Uh, but more importantly, we're getting the developer update live stream for the quality of life updates coming to season two. Now, people in my chat have been talking about how the Blizzard has laid off a bunch of members or, you know, workers and stuff. I don't really, I think it's only been a couple, but I'm not really sure how many, but I've just been told that. So that would be crazy if they did it. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you've heard anything about that. Um, but more importantly, it's the talk about the additional space, stash, stash space and functionality, improvements to the dungeons, mounts, and much more. Okay, they're gonna hold a segment at the end for players to field their questions directly to the team. Uh, I have a very strong position about this because in the past we know that Adam has really dropped the ball on this part, but they have gotten better, so hopefully it'd be great. And then on the eighth, we're getting the campfire chat, which is supposed to do a deep dive on class balances and reworks in several game systems okay so i'm really curious to find out just about the lore you know even though diablo is in a very bad state it's going to be really fun to find out just about the lore of the game and just kind of what's happening and you know what we have something to look forward to right because i know there's still a lot of stuff that needs to be fixed but it will be nice to see you know what's new and what's going to be coming okay but more importantly um the quality of life stuff, stash space, functionality, dungeons, mounts, and much more. A lot of this is very concerning because, as you guys know, in Diablo, there is a lot of issues in the game with all of those other systems. Um, and we, as the player base, just want those things to be done. So I really do hope that it has gotten better. This is actually the first time that I've logged into Diablo 4. Excuse me. In like a month, it seems. I mean, look at my stash base. My stash space is absolutely filled. Now, again, this is because I've played multiple characters to 100, so I have a lot of gear pieces for multiple different builds for each of these classes. Um, so it just sucks that stash space is going to be an issue um, continually. Uh, but I really hope that they have a lot of quality of life fixes. Uh, the mount, as we all know, is really bad. Uh, my chat really makes a lot of fun of me because I just cannot operate this thing at all it bumps into everything it stops look i mean we just can't get through anything um shout out to uh the butcher here for this mount it's pretty sick or at least the armor on there and the feed noob a little bit but 
So I have a lot of hope in these development streams, guys, just to kind of see what's going to happen and the changes that they're going to bring. I really do hope that the elemental system gets, or elemental, excuse me, the resistance system gets fixed for a lot of this, uh, the changes to a lot of these damage numbers because a lot of this stuff just doesn't even matter. So there's a lot of hope. I really do hope that they, you know, fix a lot of things. I think it's going to be really cool to fight the new bosses and hopefully we're going to be able to target farm items like the Revenant of the Infinite and you don't have to like on my first playthrough of my first 100 Sorcerer where I didn't get it until I was about 200 hours in and this one I got at 65 I think I think I got it at 60 no I must oh 74 excuse me I got it at 74 so I got it four levels ago um, which isn't too bad that's a little bit better but so I'm really curious to see what's going to happen I think a lot of systems could really use some fixing namely the crafting system would be one like being able to come in here and craft the cost of crafting and doing all that stuff with the occultist really needs to be fixed because at this point it costs way too much gold to try to do it and the crafting system is really just broken there's no reason to actually do it uh, maybe roll a couple times on an item you know for the enchantment and you know as soon as you get it and it goes to 400,000 or like 200,000 gold you just stop you just hope to find a better one so um yeah I'm really really hopeful for the upcoming developer live streams guys I hope it's going to be really good I want to continue making Diablo 4 content and you know I just want to say real quick because I, I maybe I don't do this enough but I want to thank everybody for all the support that you guys have been giving me over the last year um covering not only Diablo 3 but into Diablo 4 and um, it just really sucks that it's kind of fallen off. Uh, Diablo has fallen off a cliff here. And we've been exploring playing Path of Exile. We're going to be playing Last Epoch. So unless Diablo really takes a big turn, I really do appreciate all the support for those guys who've been watching not only my videos on YouTube, but have been a part of our live streams on YouTube. Um, we are going to be really exploring going over to Twitch for our live streaming because I think the UI is probably just better there instead of YouTube. But... Um, yeah, guys, I want to thank you guys enough. I really enjoy doing this every single day, uh, making videos, live streaming, and doing all that stuff for you guys. And hopefully we can leave our 9 to 5 one day and just really have some fun. We built up a really strong community so far, and we just got to keep striving for the end game there. So, um, yeah, thank you guys again. But, yeah, closing thoughts on it. Uh, I really hope that the developer upstream or live stream is going to be really fun. I'm really curious to see what kind of improvements that they're going to fix. Um, additional stash space and functionality would just be great. Quality of life improvements would be amazing. Um, improvements to the dungeons. The Nightmare Dungeon system right now is very flawed. Um, there's no reason to do it. There's no reward. There's nothing that you're kind of working towards. Like in Path of Exile, in my time in Path of Exile, or even Last Epoch, you're building up to something. So you have progression on top of doing the dungeon or the map itself. And Diablo 4 doesn't have that whatsoever. So if they were able to do something like that, it would be great. Because I can tell you, in my short month of playing Path of Exile, I really do enjoy that. By doing maps, you get to progress your Atlas tree and really just kind of build something that you're progressing to, which makes it really fun. So uh, hopefully this is really good, guys. We're going to be turn tuning in live. So make sure to join us, and we'll be covering all the new news for Diablo 4. So again, thank you guys so much. Like the video. Comment down what you guys think is going to happen. Um, during these live streams and as always stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace